And now, your first alert five weather. Take a look. This will take your mind off the heat. We got this from CDOT today. The top of Mount Evans Highway closed for the season due to snow and ice up there. That usually happens this time of the year. Hey, did you see that beautiful near full moon tonight? Let the harvest begin. The full moon this time of the year is the harvest moon. It'll be full Saturday, but I think we'll be socked in with clouds, so we won't be able to see it Saturday. Bottom line, enjoy it the next couple of nights. It's still really warm out there and dry humidity at just 19%. Pueblo, you're mostly clear, 76. Relative humidity a little higher in the springs, little easterly upslope component. All right, if you're mapping out the game plan for the weekend, this is weather news you can use. Look at that Saturday high. Haven't been there in a heck of a long time. Could see a few light showers at times during the afternoon into the evening. That's football weather as we get ready for that Air Force CU game on Saturday. Pueblo, I call it the feel of fall. How about those cool highs only in the 70s, replacing the triple digits you had the past couple of days. That's part of our big weather story. Here's what's going to happen on Friday. This area of high pressure that's been parked on top of us, keeping that heat machine cranking, is going to push off to the south and east. And what that'll do is open the door for this cold front to push through very early Friday morning. I think it'll come through here before sunrise Friday morning. Windy with the initial frontal passage, then those winds die off during the day. It'll be noticeably cooler, about 20 degrees cooler on Friday. A reinforcing surge of cooler air comes in for Saturday as well. Not really Really excited about precip. We could see a sprinkle or maybe a light shower in some areas, but modeling really, really skimpy with the rain shower activity. Just not a whole lot of water for the front to work with. Here's what's going to happen around here tomorrow. It's going to be hot and dry again by 10 a.m. already at 81 degrees with lots of sunshine during the mid afternoon hours. There you go, feeling more like July than September. Maybe a couple of sprinkles west of I 25 over the mountains, but it is going to be bone dry around here all the way out to those parched prairies of far eastern Colorado. You may have noticed haze in the air today. Here's what's going on. A lot of fires burning to our northwest with that area of high pressure around Colorado. It picks up that smoke and fires from those fires and puts it right back down on top of us. That's why you saw that thick haze today. And I think it could be even thicker early tomorrow morning. This is midnight. It'll be thickest across El Paso County, parts of northeastern Pueblo County as you roll out the door tomorrow morning. Starting to thin a little and that'll continue to thin as we work into the afternoon hours. But if you've got serious respiratory problems, probably a good idea to stay indoors, especially tomorrow morning with those windows buttoned up tight. At least it was cool this morning. That's the good thing about September. You get those nice cool morning lows to mitigate those painfully hot afternoon high temperatures outside right now still steamy across parts of eastern Colorado Canyon City. You are the warm spot in all of the state right now with 80 degrees. As I showed you earlier, the air is really dry. So after midnight, we're going to start cooling nicely, eventually ending up into the 50s here across most parts of the I-25 corridor. If you're tired of the heat, tomorrow will be a summer bummer. Take a look at those big numbers. 94 degrees in Colorado Springs. That will tie the all time record high temperature for the day. If you're working outside, you're going to need to load up on that water once again. Cold front to the rescue. Look at those temperatures fall off. Only 62 degrees on Saturday. Again, a few light showers possible at times into the afternoon hours. It's going to start to warm up early next week. Still really nice for this time of the year on Sunday. Then we're back into the unseasonably warm air Monday, Tuesday into Wednesday. Pueblo record heat tomorrow at 101. That cold front puts out the fire more than 30 degrees cooler on Saturday with a light shower possible. Sunday looking really nice for any outdoor activities you might have planned. Still unseasonably cool then. Then you're back into that unseasonably hot air both Tuesday and Wednesday. Canyon City, that heat cranks real hard again tomorrow, but hang tough. A much deserved cooling trend to wrap up the week. The coolest air in months by Saturday and for Woodland Park, considering it's September and considering you're at 8,400 feet above sea level, it's going to be a real hot day tomorrow. Then big time relief over the weekend with that strong September cold front. Could even see a few snow showers on top of Pikes Peak. That's wow, Mike. Thank